players at the elite level, cricket is a career. For social players or club players, it's a passionate pastime. But for Dave McDonald out here in the western suburbs of Sydney, cricket means everything. Cricket's his life. He puts the stumps out, you know, an hour before the game starts. We played for the Ponds Cricket Club in ninth grade. Getting out there, having a laugh and, you know, enjoying yourself. It's not a game if you take it serious, if you're not having a laugh and a, a good laugh while you're playing your game. I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. I was in and out of hospital. I've had the hip operation I had last year, which was my 21st operation. It hasn't affected me doing what I want to do. Did you play cricket as a young person? No, I didn't. I always said to myself, a cricket is a sport I wouldn't even play because you need two hands. He always thought, I can't play cricket. I've only got one arm. Leg's not great. Um, no one's going to play me. And we, you know, we just said, no, look, Dave, we don't care. Come and play with us. How old were you when you took up cricket? I was about 39. All those 39 years, you'd love the game, but I never played it. Because you thought you couldn't? Yeah. And now you're out there? Giving it a shot. Were you able to bowl first off? No, I was shocking. I think when I first started, I think my ages were going for a lot. None for 70 when I first started. <laughs> <laughs> My left leg is about two centimetres shorter than the right, which causes me to have a bit of a limp. Of course, in the leg, I can't take a proper run-up. I pretty much take about five or six steps and bowl. Got a bit of a side sling malinga action with the slinging. I don't have many wickets over seven years. Oh! Like only like 58 and uh, about 118 runs. But I come in at about number either 9, 10 or 11. Anything I can do to help the team in the batting, you know, you do what you can to help your team out. He gets in and has a go. You know, not limited by age, nor by disability. <laughs> I go out there and I face up holding the bat two hands, but when I go to hit the ball, I'd relieve, I take this one off and I hit the ball one-handed. You don't really need two hands. As long as you give it a go and you do your best, you can't ask for any more in life. How would you describe Dave's batting action? Yeah, I can't use the uh, the word of his batting technique on TV because I think he had a G rating. Let's just say the second word is house. He's different with his batting. It's one-armed, it's C and hit. He doesn't make an issue of the things that he has to deal with. He just gets in there and just has a go. Dave, what do you love most about playing cricket? Being out there with my mates and they don't see me as having a disability. They treat me just like one of the guys that it's just out there having a game with his mate, and I really enjoy it. <laughs> How remarkable, this day. I'd have to say playing with one arm, and for a year he played with one leg as well. Um, that's pretty impressive. They're an the inspiration for me because they're the ones that are giving me a go to do what I love. Anybody out there with a disability should give anything a go. They shouldn't let it bother them or let anybody tell them otherwise that they're different. Because we're not, we're all human. We might have a little bit of a disability but we're all the same. Yeah.